Let me see, let me see what's going on here at the Red Eye Loft. All right, folks, what you're looking at are six cocks. They're all different in every way. For those that don't know what you're looking at, I'll explain it to you. On the left, starting from my left to the right. Right here, you're looking at this two Pakistani high flyers. I gave you a variation in color, variation in size. You can see that the two cocks, the one on the left, is larger than the one on the right. Just take a look at these birds right here, and you can see that although they're Pakistani high flyers, they're from the same family, they're built differently, they look different. Even their faces look different. Their eyes are different. If I could get this camera a little closer to the eyes, you, could, you would look at the eyes and see that the eyes are even different. And I like that. I like the variation. Moving right along to the next pair of cocks. You got two tipplers. You got the pepper head. And you got what I call the pigeon jewelry from the New York bloodline, New York Tony bloodline. May he rest in peace. Those two right there, the pepper head is from my bloodline. The, the, uh, the New York Tony one right down the left. They're about almost the same size. I say that the black one, uh, the blue grizzle, whatever you want to call it, is a little larger, the pepper head. And then you have Serbian high flyer. Again, different type of a performing bird they're all performing uh, birds but um, the one the blue bar you can see it's different it's got more of a pearl eye the one on the left the black and white one it's got a bull eye I've never really been a big fan of bull eye not to say that there's anything wrong with them but my preference are all other eyes but the bull eye. Now I know uh, I have some white homers with bull eyes. That's not a big deal. But you can see they're crested and they look like they're about as tall as the tipplers. Their wingspan I would imagine is bigger, much longer, wider secondaries, wider primaries. And just to show you what we have here at the Red Eye Loft, three style of performing birds. And hopefully, if I can get something going this year, every year, for some reason or another, it's been difficult for me to fly any of these type of birds, whether it be a tippler, Pakistani, or Serbian. Uh, been really busy. I have something coming down the road as far as uh, a business, and I've been working on that. Because all those out there that know me, the ones that personally know me, I will be retiring this year. And hopefully I can get something going for the pigeon game, business-wise. So, just want you to admire some of these here. They may not be any everybody's uh, favorites. But that's what we have here at Red Eye Loft. And I'm interested in seeing what these guys do. I can tell you that tipplers, we all know how they fly. They're more of a utility flyer. They'll give you a different type of flight every day. The Pakistani, I was able to fly one last year briefly. Didn't put much videos uh, up on them, but I did fly one hen that did outstanding. Went straight up, very high, but it also flew by itself, single. Didn't follow the other birds. And that's the reason why these birds are different from all the other ones. Tiplers will fly in groups. Serbians will fly individually. Uh, I've never seen a stock of Pakistani high flyers fly consistently together. I've searched the internet, watched some videos, never, never seen that. If there's someone out there that can show me, I'm all open to suggestions, but Pakistanis are totally different. Totally, totally different. These are very nice. 
These are two cocks. I have hands for them. These are two cocks. And of course, Serbian. I'm hoping that I can get one or two Serbians out to see what they do. All right, folks, coming back at you from the Red Eye Loft like always. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that bell. If you like what you see, tell me you like them. If you don't like them, tell me why you don't like them. I'm open to suggestions. That's how we learn from one another. No two lofts are the same. Everyone has different ideas, philosophies, and training methods on pigeons. And we should all learn from each other. Okay. Until next time. We'll keep these videos going. I know I've been off the YouTube channel for a bit. But I'll be coming back with some more videos in the future. I can promise you that. For all the viewers out there, thank you. And continue to watch my channel. No nonsense here. Just straight up information. Help one another. We can all benefit some way or another. Peace.